This is the number one healthy ingredient that is hiding in your house at plain sight. It's an ingredient that has been deemed one of those miracle cures for just about anything and, believe it or not, can be used for tens of health benefits and uses that have been scientifically proven. In the past, it's been used for tumors, for growth of certain types of cells that I can't even mention in this video because probably it's going to get blocked. But in reality, science says one thing and the myth says another. But what is the real truth about baking soda what is the real deal about this ingredient and what can you actually use it for that you can be sure it's going to help you with I don't know if you knew this, but some of the most powerful tools you have at home cost less than a dollar. Something like baking soda can be used for tens of health benefits in the human body if you know what to use it for. Now, there are a lot of stories and a lot of myths around this simple ingredient. It actually does help you with health, but if you overuse it and use too much, it can actually damage your stomach. It can actually change the acid balance in your, in your entire circulatory system, and it can do some harm if you do not know exactly Exactly what you can use it for and how much you can use it for. Now, before I continue, please make sure to subscribe to this channel. I've always been surprised at the amount of people that actually see these videos but are not yet subscribed. Press that bell notification button and maybe a video that you receive can actually save your life. Number one, baking soda can get rid of cancer. Cancer is one of those diseases that is all over the place. You know, you've heard about the amount of people that are just suffering from it more and more every year in every aspect, in every way especially colon cancer, digestive cancer. And it has a lot to do with what we eat and how we take our lives or our diet and we play them into the environment. But what does baking soda actually do for our bodies? And when did we start to think that baking soda can actually combat any of these conditions that some of us might be suffering? The reality is that it started with a doctor in Italy called Tullio Simoncini. This medical doctor actually discovered or analyzed with, I don't know, how much of a scientific basis but he did he showed that some of these cancers had some type of fungus growing around them or within them he actually used some baking soda to treat his patients and miraculously saw that some of these got healed. Now, this might not be real for every single cancer we see, but if we think about it and if we analyze it, we could actually use baking soda to inject some of it into a tumor, into a cancer, and maybe disrupt that environment that these cells are growing into and that these cells obviously need to multiply, need a good equilibrium with acid, with nutrients, with all these ingredients needed for a normal cell to grow. And if we are disrupting it directly with baking soda, well, this might be something that we could use as a replacement even of chemotherapy. It could be something to be tested that I don't think has happened just yet. Don't know why, we might have some theories, but it could be used medically to some extent and maybe could have some effect. Now, the reality about using baking soda with any of these conditions is that it doesn't really work for everything. It could work for some, maybe a small amount, maybe a very infamous amount, but it actually needs to be tested. Something that is being claimed as a natural remedy for decades could actually work for some. If you need something natural that can improve your immune system, improve the fighting of your natural cells inside your body to combat any of the smallest, most effective cells that you need to start and actually not let them grow, look for something like Raviola Gold, Bright Caps, Ultra C1000, and Oxyelixrin capsule form from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. Number two, stomach acidity and gastritis. Our stomach contains acid. Baking soda is extremely alkaline. If we mix these two together, these get canceled out. And this is the magical effect of canceling out acid in your stomach that might be causing you ulcers, might be causing you pain, might be causing you gastritis, and some people actually deem this baking soda a miracle that they can use every day without restrictions. Now, be careful. You can use baking soda to cancel out that acid. That is perfectly fine. Its chemistry really does work. But if you use more than what your body can actually tolerate, you are going to start to see a backlash. You're going to start to see your stomach producing more acid because it doesn't really have enough to digest your food. It's a natural process. You need an equilibrium in your stomach in your intestines while you digest. And if you're using too much baking soda, well, that will cancel out the acid you have 
and therefore start the backlash with the production of more acid, causing you more gastritis, more inflammation, more ulcers, and obligating you to use more baking soda. Not a good idea. Maybe you can use something different that can actually heal your stomach, improve that gastrointestinal lining, eliminate gastritis, and make sure that the acid is really solved in the production or the cause, in its root cause, and not just keep adding baking soda to something that is not a definite cure that you're looking for. If you need something natural for this purpose, look for Ulcer Aid, GI Balance, and maybe even Pilo Chase from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. Number three, the whitening of your teeth and oral health. Your mouth is incredibly filthy. It just is incredibly filthy. The amount of bacteria is just incredible. The amount of food that might be staying in between your teeth that is actually decaying, decomposing, and has terrible smells that we have all maybe at some point experience is just making the mouth one of the most filthiest places in your body. It really is. More than your intestines, more than your colon, more than the last part of your digestive system or that what you were taking out every day. Your mouth can really become something incredibly intoxicating if you're not careful. You need to wash yourself every day and you can use baking soda as a mouthwash because it has an alkalizing effect on the mouth that has an acidic environment. This kills out bacteria, cleans your teeth, makes sure to eliminate all of these putrefacting or these chemicals that are just decomposing inside your mouth and literally improving your health overall. Now make sure not to use too much baking soda because you could destroy your enamel. It's a very protective part of your teeth that actually gives you that brilliant whitish part that everyone is looking for when they keep their mouth clean. If you need something natural that can help you increase those good probiotics in your mouth, in your entire body, and keep you healthy, look for Probillion, Woman's Probillion, or Paraflush, and Candy Fence can also clean you from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. Number four, improving muscle strength and kidney function. A lot of the times we don't think about the effects that exercise or our muscles have on our kidneys, but our muscles when we exercise produce acid. They produce lactic acid. Now, if we have baking soda right at hand and we're taking some of it every day, we're canceling out all that acidic production in our muscles. We are actually giving them more strength or giving them more capacity in order for them not to feel sore after workout or making ourselves improve that physical activity just because we're canceling out the acid they are producing. All of this acid and all this metabolic function is really being drained out by your kidneys. And your kidneys are obligated to produce baking soda because they need to cancel out that acidic environment in your blood. Guess what? When you take baking soda, you're actually alleviating the work that your kidneys might have just because they need to produce baking soda that you are supplementing on, improving the effect or the stressfulness that they will feel because they have too much work. If you drink just a little bit of baking baking soda. If you have kidney damage, you're suffering from kidney disease, this can actually help you. It can improve your muscles, your kidneys, your entire body if you consume it responsibly and do not excess the small amount, just a little, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon every day that can help you stay healthy. Now, if you need something natural that can help you out to purify, cleanse those kidneys, look for Purify You, Uri Essence, and especially Kidney Matrix from Fineland at finelandvitamins.com. God bless and take care.